We're going to be more lax as this video was made in 2017. So, yeah, there's going to be some outdated stuff. Since its discovery in the 19th century, dinosaurs have been fascinating the world. Oh my goodness, stop with all those quick cuts. And it's just crazy stimulation all going on. Some were so large that their dimensions are hard to believe. Top 10 biggest dinosaurs. Number 10, Gigantosaurus. Like most of the great carnivores, it lived in the Cretaceous period, between 99 and 96 million years in Argentina. It measured 42 feet in length. Okay, so even though this length is reasonable, why do you have to use such awesome bro design for Giganotosaurus? Giganotosaurus, Giganotosaurus. 13 in height and weighed 8 tons. His skull was a little more than 4.9 feet. It was so large that it was supposed to feed on Tyrannosaurus-sized prey. Okay, so there is the Andesaurus, I guess. However, he had a weakness. Speed. Do you see those bulky legs? It is because his femur was larger than his tibia, making him an animal quite heavy and unable to run at great speeds. That is why he is thought to be a predator of ambushes. Basically, every predator uses an ambush tactic that increases stealth and it also would not waste the energy of predators as much because the predators would come out of nowhere and they don't have to chase after their prey. Number 9. Carcharodontosaurus. Its name means shark tooth reptile and refers to its fearsome sharp teeth. He lived in the Cretaceous period, between 113 and 93 million years. Okay, this is 2017, so it could just be nabbed from 2017 wiki. In what is now Africa. More specifically, North Africa. As you can see, we're getting a bit off topic here. I guess this is from those language maps over here. Semitic, uh, there's Arabic obviously. Uh, it's probably classifying that as Arabic and not Semitic, despite Arabic being part of the Semitic family. It was 42.6 feet in length and reached 13 feet in height. I'm confused why you put the Cochranosaurus above the Giganotosaurus and not the other way around. Dinosaur size is determined by mass, but you know, you just put in the Giganotosaurus at slightly shorter than the Cochranosaurus. Even though it is still bigger, it's longer as well in reality, but given that it's 2017 we're talking about, I wouldn't be surprised that if it's outdated. His weight was about 15 tons. I feel like even for 2017, that is a bit ridiculous. Also, uh, why are you using he for literally every single time that you uh, refer to something by a third person? And his skull alone measured 5.2 feet long. His teeth tore the flesh of his victims and bleeding them, making it impossible for them to survive. His claws served as sharp knives with which he could catch his prey while he killed them. The Carcharodontosaurus had a speed of 25 miles per hour. That is to say, it could reach and kill anything. The problem is, if it wants to hunt a sauropod, it's going to have to be careful because the sauropod can be dangerous. Number 8. Pliosaur. Back then in 2017, there were not as many of those corrections and all that when it comes to dinosaurs, so putting a non-dinosaur in was kind of normal back then. But like, 2024, the reason why I'm angry at those 2024 ones is because it is not even outdated. It's up to date and they're still just classifying them as mainstream dinosaurs and all that. 2017, it's okay, though. It is not a single species, but a suborder of marine dinosaurs whose largest members were 49.2 feet in length. It's still kind of baffling, though. Oh, my goodness. Why do I have the sudden urge to just complain and rage about all of it? And weighed 45 tons. What estimates are you trying to get it from? <laughs> Where did you get those estimates? None of them actually make sense. 2017. It's still 2017, but you know. 
Do not be fooled by its appearance. Despite appearing like a simple fish, it became the most terrible predator of the ocean during the middle and late Jurassic period. Thing is, Mosasaurus, Tylosaurus, they aren't even Pliosaurs. They aren't even Pliosaurs, they're just Mosasaurus. You should have just talked about Predator X. He used his 10-foot jaw and his 12-inch long teeth to catch fish, squid, and other marine reptiles. What Pliosaur are you talking about? Are you talking about Predator X? I feel like you're talking about Predator X. His bite exerted 10 times stronger pressure than that of Tyrannosaurus Rex. He could even eat large plesiosaurs. Number 7. Plesiosaurus. These marine reptiles were a family of dinosaurs that lived during the Jurassic and Cretaceous. Man, everything is just making my blood boil, but I don't want to just express my rage just yet. Like in the previous video, not not really previous video, but the previous paleontology video that I made. Okay, because those mistakes were incredibly severe. This one is, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but still, it's common and not incredibly rare mispronunciations. Its largest members were 49.2 feet long. I don't think any plesiosaur will reach that length. You know, just slap in 15 meters in literally every single thing, every single uh, length estimate over here, and we're good. They are described as animals with turtle bodies and snake heads. They had fins that moved up and down, that is, vertically, giving the impression of flying into the water. This apparent parsimony did not prevent them from diving more than 984 feet. Their feeding consisted of squids, fish, and sometimes other smaller plesiosaurs. So like, technically they feed each other. It's just big feeding on small. I don't know why you just decide to generalize all of those plesiosaurs and put them all in one category. All fossil remains have been found in Asia and North America so it is believed that they inhabited the seas near those continents. Paleontologists assumed that they laid eggs, until a female plesiosaur with a fetus inside was found. It is now known that they gave birth as mammals. Number 6. Spinosaurus. You could have used either the planet dinosaur spino or the knuckle walking spino, given that this video is from 2017. It's a bit tiring to see all of those JP3 spino images just coming out of nowhere. His name means lizard with thorns because of the huge flap on his back. I think Spinosaurus meant spine lizard, but I don't know about the thorns to be honest. It lived in the Cretaceous period, between 112 and 93 million years in what is now Africa. Again, this video is 2017, so I wouldn't be surprised if this person nabbed from 2017 Wikipedia. It reached a length of 59 feet, a height of 14.7 feet, and a weight of 12 tons. The skull of Spinosaurus was the largest of all carnivores, measuring 6.6 .6 feet long. It's the longest, but it isn't the largest, and uh, I don't want to rephrase all those 2017 outdated stuff. But it is believed that it was more equipped to eat fish than to hunt ashore. Its hind legs acted as oars when it was in the water. Its fin-like rudder and its tail moved, giving impulse to him like one of the crocodiles. It is even believed that between his fingers was a membrane similar to the legs of the penguins. Number 5. Diplodocus. I mean, for 2017, I guess, Diplodocus is okay to include in a list like this. There's no T-Rex, though, which is a bit of a shame. Even though, it's I'm kind of glad because T-Rex is not in the top 10 biggest dinosaurs. And, like, especially in 2024. 2017, it's more debatable. 2017, no, there are way too many sauropods still. Like the great herbivores, the Diplodocus lived during the Jurassic period, between 155 and 150 million years in what is now North America. It reached a length of 108.3 feet, a height of 23 feet, and weighed 15 tons. It's kind of laughing my soul out that the Diplodocus just stretched out like a PNG, SVG. Which is little for an animal of that size. Its front legs were a little shorter than the rear, so its body and neck had to be kept in a horizontal position. 
He ate ferns and river algae, for which he had enough to submerge his long neck in the water. He also swallowed stones because they helped him digest. Stones to help grind up with grind up Diplodocus's food. Grind up Diplodocus's food, making them more easy to digest because they have more surface area and are more mushy. Diplodocus are thought to live on the prairies, but lay their eggs in the woods. They had a huge tail that ended in the form of a whip and moved at a speed of 746 miles per hour. So it was a deadly weapon. Eh. If it doesn't break its own tail, then it could be a, a, an effective weapon. Some paleontologists argue that only the sound of the tail in the wind should have served as a warning. These animals, once they were born, never stopped growing until the moment of their death. Number 4. Brachiosaurus. Its name means lizard of the arms. You know, something that kind of bothers me a little bit is that sometimes they just try and be fancy and uh, want to translate those Greek names their own way. While I'm not really against fanciness, sometimes these translations, the, the grammar change patterns could give, could potentially give words, phrases a completely different meaning. This is because, unlike the other long-necked dinosaurs, this has the anterior limbs longer than the hind limbs, giving it that vertical aspect. It lived 150 million years ago in the Jurassic period, in what is now Europe, Africa, and North America. It measured 85.3 feet in length, 29.5 feet in height, and weighed 35 tons. Another of his rarities with respect to his relatives is that his tail measured less than his neck. I'm pretty sure there are other sauropods with the same, tra same trait being the tail, having a tail that is shorter than its neck. Brachiosaurus liked to stand on two legs to eat the tallest leaves in the trees. Number 3. Mammonchisaurus. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. I think... The way to pronounce it is Mamenchisaurus. Its name means Lizard of Mamenchai, the Chinese city where the first fossil was discovered. It lived 156 million years ago in the Jurassic period, in what is now Asia. It had a length of between 53 and 82 feet, and a height of 82 feet. Its weight is estimated between 20 and 32 tons. The Mammonchisaurus lived in herds and fed on the abundant conifers that at the time populated their habitat. Alright, so what are my thoughts of this paleontology video so far? So far it isn't very great, but I mean, it's not horrible. His teeth had a tack shape that allowed him to remove the leaves he wanted without difficulty. Number 2. Sara Poseidon. The god Poseidon was responsible for earthquakes, so the name of this dinosaur means lizard that shakes the earth. Uh, don't have to exacerbate all of this stomping Poseidon thingy because, you know, this is a sore Poseidon. This is Clash of the Dinosaurs sore Poseidon. I mean, there's only one documentary for only one documentary showed sore Poseidon, which is Clash of the Dinosaurs. And Clash of the Dinosaurs, Sora Poseidon is notorious for being uh, claimed to be having two brains. He lived in the Cretaceous period 112 million years ago in what is now North America. It measured 111.5 feet in length, 59 feet high, and weighed 55 tons. One of its vertebrae alone can measure 4.9 feet in length. His head was rather small compared to his body. As if basically every other sauropod doesn't have that trait already. Otherwise it would have been difficult to hold. His teeth in the form of a spatula did not allow him to chew well the leaves he ate. So it is thought that the crushing was done in the neck, where he had accumulated small stones, and in the stomach. With all these he pronouns for these dinosaurs, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. Because, you know... It's supposed to try and appeal to the mainstream, but at the same time, 
can it does it really appeal to the mainstream when there's all, all of these animals that all use it 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 when it comes to groups when it comes to you know if it's an individual then sure i mean calling dogs he or she you know it's an individual they uh, a lot of them and uh, they and they is they are they is reference to a lot of these animals different animals thingy oh my god what am i trying to say at this point uh, i'm sick Sauro Poseidon is the tallest dinosaur ever found, but not necessarily the largest dinosaur because others gain it in weight and length. Number one, Argentinosaurus. It's 2017, so basically the Argentinosaurus, Argentinosaurus is almost undisputed. I mean, there are stuff they pour at the Saurus, but still. This dinosaur was discovered, as its name implies, in Argentina. It lived 97 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. It reached a length of 108.3 feet and a height of 52.5. With 70 tons, it is the heaviest dinosaur ever known. A single one of the vertebrae found was 5.21 feet high and was 4.23 feet thick. Don't call those numbers 5.21 and 4.23. It feels more like a version update than just math. Say like 5.21 feet, 4.23 feet. A little life advice, I guess. The Argentinosaurus was fed by tall palm leaves, many of which survive to this day. If you thought the top was over, pay attention to what follows. In 1878, an excavator found a five-foot-long vertebra that, when arrived at the hands of paleontologist Edward Dinkler Cope, was catalogued as part of the skeleton of a new species, the Amphicolius. Amphicolius, which is now just not true. I mean, 2024, people. It's 2024 now, but back then in 2017, it could be fine. He determined that the bone was actually 6.5 feet high and belonged to a long-necked herbivore that lived 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period in North America, which measured 196.8 feet in length and weighed 120 tons. However, the vertebra was in such poor condition that it ended up being destroyed before being put on display. So the only thing you have as evidence are the drawings. In 2024, there is a contender as of 2024, uh, 2023 as well, there's the Brachiosaurus, which is thought to be the largest. However, it disintegrated, the, the fossil disintegrated before it could ever reach. If the upper estimates of the 2023 records are accurate, Brachiosaurus might have been the, the largest dinosaur to have ever existed, dwarfing the Argentinosaurus, but, uh, it is still a bit small, quite a bit smaller than the blue whale. As a result, scientists labeled it as an uncertain species. Currently, and despite some discoveries as a malformed femur, many think that they would be Diplodocus bones. There are still many things to discover, so stay tuned to the science news. Maybe soon you will find a larger herbivore. If you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications so you do not miss even one. Until next video. I think I forgot to point out that Mementisaurus height thingy. If this guy claims that the Sora Poseidon was the tallest dinosaur, then how come the Mementisaurus' height is more than that of the Sora Poseidon, especially in the text and what he said? It just doesn't make any sense. I'm sick. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching.